the ever popular orange and teal basically one of the classic looks and also what I would say is usually safe bet you know so if you are working with somebody who's not sure you know how they want to grade their movie I would always suggest you go for orange and teal the likelihood is that they will like it so there is more than one way how to create orange and teal I'm gonna show you two ways on this occasion for two different types of orange and teal. So first we're gonna remain on the same shot from the previous lesson. We're gonna open another serial node and on that serial node we're gonna drop Colorlab plugin. Okay, then I'm gonna go again and select Alexa as my camera. And then uh, in terms of the contrast, um, orange and teal works with a nice S contrast. So maybe I'll stay with S1. I don't want anything too strong. Usually like, you know, just this is a great contrast, you know, for this kind of middle of the road type of look. So then I'm going to go into palettes and uh, orange and teals are in majors. So they are like a usually, you know, related to a good and positive emotion. So then I'm going to go and show you this one. So first of all, you have a, if you go and select option B, this is um, like a, maybe a little bit like, you know, more stronger version of orange and teal that works, you know, beautiful things with the skin. You're going to get a gorgeous looking skin with this. You can then go and tweak it a little bit on the, you know, lift gamma and gain. So for example, I can just crash it a little bit and um, I can just, you know, lift my blue just a notch. So that's going to kind of cool down my shadow a little bit more. And then I can give it a little bit more of contrast on my gain. Maybe I'll reduce some of that red down because it's very warm. And this could be, you know, seen as a really nice, you know, type of orange and teal. The other option that I use sometimes is also following. So again, I'm going to go and reset it here. Then I will go and adjust the camera first, which is Alexa. And then I'm going to go and select S1. And then in palette, I'm going to go for major. And then I will select. Um, so let me see. So this one is uh, basically a good one. So this is an F major. Now, um, what I do with F major is I usually have to go and increase a little bit saturation. So see when I give it a little bit more saturation, um, then uh, if I go and just give it a little bit more contrast, you know, by putting down the lift, I can get, um, you know, a slightly mellower version of orange and teal, but one, you know, that is on the palette, uh, a little bit more pastel but it works also beautifully for you know various types of orange and teal looks so these are just the two options how to create it there are more that i will probably be adding to some of the tips how to use color lab later on